Okay, well, hi, friends. Doc here. Let me just adjust this a little. There you go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, um, I had, I, I've been doing a lot of um, reminiscing uh, lately. Some may say too much reminiscing uh, about all the toys, the various toys I had back when I uh, was a kid. And frankly, there were some pretty good toys uh, back in those days. Uh, I know kids now, I guess, have actually pretty super toys uh, with all the uh, internet stuff they can do. Uh, it's, uh, and, and, you know, we, I guess being older, I could say, oh, look at those, uh, you know, the youth of today. Uh, you know, well, they don't even get out and play. Well, yeah, they don't have to. They've got all these video games to play. God, I would have loved them too. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sure uh, instead of watching uh, Howdy Doody on TV, I would have been, uh, you know, with, yeah, I, I, I'm sure. Oh, go, <laughs> you count on it. I, I would have loved that. Um, but, uh, and yeah, I, I came from a time when, uh, yeah, we basically went out to play or we took over the basement or our bedroom or the attic uh, with uh, all sorts of cool stuff to do uh, back, back in the day, back in the 50s and 60s when I was growing up. Uh, gosh, let me get my... Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, nectar of the gods. Well, listen, I, I've been doing a lot of stuff about all the toys I had that flew. Kites, the bottle rocket, uh, the rockets that, uh, you know, the, the water rockets. Yeah, I used water for propulsion uh, and air pressure. Um, my, propel, my really good uh, propel, 49 cent, very expensive. That was a week's allowance. 49 cent uh, uh, rubber band plane you know, with the propeller. Yeah, I could probably show you nicks. I'm, I'm sure if you did an x-ray of this finger, you'd see all sorts of nicks and uh, bumps and stuff when uh, that propeller got me, you know. Oh, 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 oh. And, but the, uh, there was, I think, perhaps I've saved the best for last, the absolute best airplane, model airplane I ever had. <laughs> was it, it was a glider plane and man it it went you you had about save up five at least five weeks worth of allowance to get this baby which was almost impossible you actually had a stoop to doing chores yeah to get this one and they weren't everywhere it was hard to find this plane but when you did it was worth all the all the trips to the stores uh, you know, bike rides to the stores to get cigarettes and bread and salami for your neighbors. You know, they tip you and stuff. You'd be working, oh gosh, all week to get this plane. Maybe a paper route, you know, whatever. Uh, but it was, it was an air, it was a, a balsa wood airplane. Uh, it was a balsa wood airplane. It had about an 18 inch wingspan. So, you know, it, it, it was pretty big. Yeah, it was, uh, nine inch uh, wings on either side, uh, nice uh, smooth fuselage, uh, you know, and, and the thing is, is the wings had a bit of a curve to them. So they, again, they had an airfoil. Somehow or another, this plane was built for endurance. And what it did was, you, uh, to, it was a kind of a combination plane and rocket. Uh, you could take the, the wings were on a mechanism that attached to the fuselage. And what you did was you had to flip the wings. You turned the wings up. Yeah, they would, re don't try this with a plane where it's just set, where the wings are set through the fuselage. These weren't really attached to the fuselage. They were attached to a mechanism that was attached to the fuselage. And what you did was you, you twisted carefully. Don't get your kid brother to do this. Oh no, no, break it. Yeah, yeah, you know, if he's only four or five years old, he doesn't have the coordination a, a 12 year old has. And you, uh, but so what you did was you, you twisted the wings. Uh, let's see, if well, I'd be, if you're looking, yeah, if you're looking from uh, the uh, starboard side, you're twisting clockwise, right? You twist the wings up and then you fold them back, right? And then you hold them with your uh, thumb and forefinger, right? Okay. And You've got your in launch position. Then, then they supplied also, you know, for the uh, two fifty this plane, two forty nine this plane cost. 
I don't think there was sales tax back then, so at least it's basically two forty nine. The government, the government was wasn't into you know taxing kids' toys for crying out loud, and you had this stick, a relatively sturdy stick, and a very good rubber band, bigger than most. And what you did was there was a little notch on the uh, at the front of the plane on the fuselage, and I think it was reinforced. This plane again, like I said, well worth the two forty nine. You had to go through to get it. Oh, to, to come up with to get it. And then what you did was you, you pulled the rubber band back, actually about two feet. Yeah, oh, it was the, your, your hand was down near your knees. And you'd, you, the way you did it was you kind of got it going with a little more, more momentum uh, by pushing, uh, lifting the stick. And when you felt all the tension the rubber band could take, you let go and the plane, and it would launch into the sky. Now, it had no real air resistance because the wings were back. The wind was pushing the wings back as this plane went up and up and up 100 feet. Yeah, anywhere from 50 to 100 feet, depending on how, who did it. Right. And once the, now you had to have, you had to be in the middle of a really big field. Don't be doing this near the, yeah, the grouchy neighbor's yard. No, you got to, yeah. Okay. And you'll, you, you had to be out like in Serbi's field, you know, like 10 acres. You had to allow that much. And this plane would go, it would go, it would rocket, you know, like a, like a missile. Right. And, uh, and eventually it would slow down and the wind resistance would uh, slow up, would weaken. And the plane's wings would come out and flip into flight position. And the plane would right itself it would, yeah, it would, and with that curve, it would just start to circle and maybe go straight for a while, maybe go off into a, uh, you know, a star, a turn to the starboard, and you just are off to port, but it could stay up oh, with, uh, with a, a few good updrafts, because this plane actually could climb. Yeah, if it got caught in a nice updraft, just like a sailplane out at uh, Blairstown, New Jersey, this, this little baby could do it. And it was well above uh, any kind of, uh, any kind of um, um, artillery, ground fire from your friends and their darn dirt bombs. Uh, this, this, the only thing could get this was another plane similar. Right. An, yeah, another plane. Or maybe one of those three-stage bottle rockets. Yeah, water rockets. Maybe. Maybe. It'd be uh, nip and tuck. Uh, and but this baby would just stay up there. You could sometimes get a five minute, ten minute flight out of this plane. It was so freaking cool. Oh my gosh! And we'd um, we 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 just have the best time with it. And and honestly, um, it, it's yeah. Any any. Um, the, the big thing was, was it was really pretty unfair, considering what you had to go through uh, for your friends to throw rocks at it. There was a point where when it got within range of any kind of rock, it was dibs. Uh, yeah, no more, no more rock throwing because this, it was just too much to get this plane. It was a financial disaster if that plane broke on the first day. Usually you could keep this plane going for a a good month or so, and then maybe one day, finally, tragically, it would fly into a tree, and the tree would be so high up, and none but the bravest uh, could go up there and get it. Yeah, you're way at the top of the big old oak trees and stuff. But yeah, that yeah, all only thing you do is uh, every day just see if maybe the the heavy winds of night knocked it loose, and then if you by chance you could find it. Uh, I mean, even if it was in poison ivy. Uh, or near near a bee's nest uh, on the ground, you 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 still had to go get it. It was just that valuable uh, uh, an aircraft uh, to your uh, uh, to your uh, toy collection. Yeah, it, it was just so much fun. I, it's um, I remember one time. I don't know why this happened, but I was flying the darn thing, and uh, out in out in Serbia's field, and we had I had pretty good uh, pretty good. Um, well, it was a, it was a good run. It was it was doing rather well for itself, and then all of a sudden, and I again, I to this minute I don't know what the heck was going on, uh, but there was uh, this military jet transport flew over Serbia's field, 
We have, to this day, I have no idea why. This was a plane that should be up about eight miles. Yeah, it looked, it, it wasn't quite a B-52, but doggone if it wasn't close. And it was flying about 100 yards off the ground. And, oh my God, the engines roaring and all that. Mar, uh, <laughs> my plane got kind of caught in that. Uh, no, it didn't get sucked into the into the engine or nothing, but it really it kind of, man, the poor plane really got clobbered. Uh, it was, yeah, up in the sky there. No, it didn't wreck. It didn't wreck. It got down safely. But uh, to this minute, the only thing I can think of is, is that maybe the pilot of that plane or one of the crew members had friends in, in the town I grew up in, Chester, New Jersey. And maybe he called and said, hey, uh, you know, to his girlfriend or his mom. Hey mom, I'm gonna be in. A, we're gonna be in a you know a transport plane, a jet. Yeah, this was like a four-engine jet flying again, just roaring uh, over over town. It wasn't going fast. No, it was not doing you know uh, its usual what three or four hundred miles an hour. Uh, it it was almost like it was on a landing approach. In fact, us kids were kind of afraid it was going to crash. I mean, we ran for our lives. But no, he was fine. I, again, I think it was a, a glory run. Um, yeah. And, uh, but yeah, the, the, the plane didn't quite, yeah, my, my little glider there didn't quite match to that. Uh, but it was one of the greatest days ever as far as us kids were concerned. No, we, no, they didn't have gunnery on the thing. No, no, on the plane. Again, I think it was just a, a nice old transport. But boy, it sure did. Uh, our eyes were just, uh, we all came in to lunch. Our eyes were still bugged out. Yeah, it was pretty neat. Anyway, that was a great plane. I don't know if they make those uh, folding um, folding wing gliders anymore. Uh, they probably, in today's money, they'd probably be about 25 bucks. But back in the day, yeah, about two and a half got one. Yep, you, you could take one home for about two and a half. And, uh, and, and no tax, yes. Okay. Well, anyway, friends, there you go. Uh, more adventures, uh, uh, Doc South reporting in my uh, well, my memory reporting uh, from Serbi's Field. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye now.